And right, okay, we should be back now. Uh, my recording software just glitched out, so you've missed about one and a half minutes of footage. Um, the only thing that we did is we found the portable heater, which was hidden in the corner down here. Um, yeah, in here. Literally came into this room and noticed for some reason my recording started recording and then stopped recording. Uh, it's done that a few times recently. Anyway, uh, we do have the pocket heater now, which I wonder what it actually says. Let's have a little look, shall we? Now, I don't know how... Uh, Elliot and... There we go, heater. Yes. Not really sure how Elliot and dogs are sharing this, but hey. This lightweight mini heater keeps your body warm at all times. Good, good. That's what we like. So, what's this going to do? You do not have the key card for this. Well, that's awkward. The door is locked. Okay. So, where else can we go? This place is one hell of a freaking maze, to be fair. But now we've got the heater, we don't have to worry too much. So, that place is locked down. I don't think there's like any doors around here. There isn't. Nope. Now, it has been about, I don't know. Well, actually, the last time I got this far into the game um, was when we let's played it. So, a little bit rusty. Couple that with the fact that the maps that we get in this game really aren't that useful. So, we've come in here. This one's now open. Not really sure why that's now open. That was really bizarre. It told us the door was locked and wouldn't let us in. Now it's telling us the door's open. Excellent, I suppose. Ooh. 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 Uh. I guess we can get a couple more boxes of napalm rounds. Now, the napalm uh, ammo is actually very rare in this game. So it is worth picking up where we can. temperature control system. Heating express activation key. Use the invert key at the control center to activate heating express mode. Uh, okay. You Freezer have found the invert system. key. Cool. Heating express activation key. Use the invert key at the control center to activate heating express mode. Excellent. Well, that's cool. Right, so we've got the key. The only thing is... None of the rooms are really labelled, so, like... We don't really know where the heating express room is or anything like that because, like I say, none of these rooms are labelled. Uh, it, yeah, if again, game design is a bit is a bit iffy to say the least. Now I don't know if we can go back to where we were. I'm going to say we can't. I'm going to say we've missed a key somewhere. This looks questionable. As most of our money just flies off into the ether. Yeah, not a very good place to actually like try and farm for cash yet. Because yeah, most of the money just falls off over the rails, which is really annoying. Uh, again, like there's no real way I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't actually say what these, these rooms are. Which is a bit of a nightmare. That's the warm room. We know that much. Is there a way of looking up? No. And again, it doesn't tell you. Oh, hey, friend. Can you piss off, please? So the warm room is not the area we're looking for. All right, this guy, you can actually pick up his money fairly reliably. Um, that's frozen shut. We definitely need another key. We're a key short. Nothing down here. And this is one heck of a freezer. It's got to be said. Oh, we can go through this door. Ah, oh, this leads us back. Out here. 
Oh, okay. Right, let's try and work these rooms out, shall we? So, let's have a little look on the map. Right. Yeah, that's not a maze at all, is it? Um. So, we've just... Try to even work... Right, so we've just come in at the top there. Okay. Right, got ya. I think. I think. Is that yeah, because that's the open area there. And this is another open area. Wait a minute, is there two open areas on this map? I hate the map. Have I meant yeah, there is two little open areas. Cool. Yeah, I hate this map. It's literally useless. To the point where, I mean, they might as well have not given us one, to be fair. It is so rubbish. You know, I'd love to see this game rebooted for a modern system. Keep the gameplay roughly intact, you know. Um, yeah, so that's down there. Yeah, keep the gameplay intact. I mean, I'd like to see... See, let's have a look in the warm room. Make sure we have definitely didn't miss anything in here. So, you know, keep the vending machines and the cash and all that kind of stuff, but just make it a better functioning game. Try and, you know, give us a camera that actually works. That would preferably be a good start. Uh, maybe add some extra areas as well. That'd be cool. Maybe have Dogs and Elliot on screen at once. And maybe... Uh, yeah, I guess if you retooled the game slightly, you could have this as a cool little co-op game. So you have Dogs and Elliot going at the same time. Hmm, that's not a bad shout. I'd buy that for a dollar. Right, now let's have a look at the map in here. So how many rooms have we got in here? Oh god, so there's... Yeah, directly ahead of us is that... To the north is that little close-off area. Uh... Right, so there's actually only two, three doors in here, technically. Two that we can go in. Um, and there's one room that we haven't been in, but I th think it's frozen. Okay, well, let's, let's check that out, shall we? Let's get rid of you. We should hopefully start generating some cash. You're not going to get a lot from doing this bit, but we should get a little bit. What are we up to now? Back up to 8.40. Yeah, money um, does take a significant amount of effort to get in this game. Now, this was one of the other little closed-off areas. There was something here. I can't remember what it was. I think it was a key. But, of course, we already have that key. So, if we stand, like, right over these enemies, we do auto-pick up most of the money. Alright, so the door that we can't get in should be up here somewhere. Yeah, so, right, that one's frozen, got ya. So that leaves us two options, basically. We've got these two rooms here. That's where we've got the inverter key. Uh, and there definitely wasn't anything else in here, was there? It was just the inverter key. I don't even think there was a body on the floor. And the look is inverted, which is horrible. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, machine room key. So there was a bloody key hidden in the doorway there. Okay, that's cool. I'm guessing, considering there's only one locked room left, that was the one that we tried to go into here. I think there's only one locked room in here. And, yeah, it's that bloody big room there. Right. So, we've got to go right the way around the twisty area. Okay, go up the long corridor. And when we get to the long corridor, okay, we've got to take the second turn. Got ya. Okay, the map's not that bad, as long as you know roughly where you are. But it's not great either. Definitely could have done with a better map. On screen map would have been cool. 
but that's probably asking a bit much for a game of this age. Having said that, games on the PlayStation 1 managed it. So, yeah, I don't know. But I'm not sure what kind of a budget this game had. I don't know if this was a big budget game or what. It it feels like it. It feels like they went all out on the visuals. But it's definitely uh, lacked polish. Which, to be fair, is a big thing with a lot of Dreamcast games. You know, they look fantastic, but there was a huge lack of polish in a lot of them. Which, oh yes. First boss, boyos. Yeah, which I'm pretty sure would be an issue that would have, you know, been sorted with time. I mean, launch games generally are not perfect. Right, napalm gun. This is an ice beast. Like, ice T-Rex. Yes, Elliot, that was great. Great. Look at the animation on the guns as well. Like, when we fire, I don't know how easy it is to see, but when we fire the rocket... See the back of the uh, launcher open up and eject the shell there. It's actually really cool. And I approve. Ooh, okay. Yeah, uh, don't get your dander up, dude. Okay. I'm just going to roast you alive. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Not doing too well against him at the moment, are we? He's actually very hard to hit. Elliot, move. Come on. Good good man. Good man, Elliot. Good man. Yeah. The camera angle is your biggest enemy here. Forget the frozen T-Rex thing. There we go. He's done. He's done, son. Good night. <laughs> the monster was holding something. The monster was holding something. Where was the monster holding something? In which hand was he holding something? Yeah, now sadly we don't actually like get any money or anything for killing these guys. And I don't know if coming up here would have been a legitimate strategy. Would he not have been able to get us? I have a feeling they've got like ice breath or something. But yeah, you can see how good the napalm gun is on him. Uh, I think it does extra damage as well because he's an uh, ice creature. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But unfortunately, the stingy... Ooh, look at this bastard. Unfortunately, he doesn't drop any uh, money or anything for us. Look, they've got like eyes in, the, in their lower jaw. Really strange designs on these beasts. Cool designs, but strange. You can't really tell too much of what they are. They're just like a couple of massive polygons stitched together. But, you know, it works. We do have to fight a few of those throughout the game, I think. Here we go. You can hear banging. I don't know what that is. Right, anyway, let's switch back to our uh, other weapon. Because we're probably not going to get the napalm gun out for a while. Let's just say that. Right. Freezer temperature control unit. Heating express system is off. Use the inverter key. Yes. Heating express mode is on. Uh... Wait. Set the rotating numbers. Uh, we want, what was it? Hang on. 1,000. You have set the pump to low rotation mode. I think that's what we wanted. Yeah. No. Is that not what we wanted? Let's try that again. Because we've used the express heater. If we go out with the express heater on, we will roast to death. Uh, 
Unless we need to leave the express heater on. Eh, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's fine. Ah, yeah, that's it. But now we're going to get really freaking hot, really freaking quick. And I think what happens... Uh, when we get really hot... I think we catch fire. Which is bad. But it might only be in certain places that we... There might actually be cool rooms. I can't remember. Uh, right. So, we need to, yeah, fly through here. This is going to suck donkey dicks if we die. I'm just going to say that. So, we're going to run. We're going to run as quick as we can. We're going to avoid the enemies where possible. Now, I'm not sure if we can get, like, a portable uh, cooler. Pretty sure we can't. Alright, let's go into this room. And then let's go into this room. Let's see if this is cold in here. Right, it is. Okay, cool. So there are little stations where we can freeze off, so to speak. Cool off, I should say. Okay, that makes sense. That makes me a little bit less uh, concerned for our welfare. Ah, uh, uh, no, it's too hot. We set the temperature too high. Let's get out of here. Eh, it's fine. It's fine, gentlemen. Right, uh, let's have a little look. Have we been in here? Uh... Yeah. I'm... Right, so we haven't been in this room yet. Ah, and this is a cold room as well. Nice. Well, that's cool. Got some ammo for dogs. And we have a save room. And I don't mind giving that a go. Right, we're going to download the map. And we're going to save the game. Because I'm almost certain we're going to burst into flames if we go outside. And to be fair, I might actually give that a try. Just to see what happens. Check out the shops first, see if there's anything good in these shops. Magazines, don't need them. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we've got some food, we don't need food. We're not going to waste money on food f uh, for this playthrough. Right, let's see if we burst into flames. Pretty sure we do. One second, guys. The moment of truth. Was I telling lies? Yes. Yes, I was. Oh, that's anticlimactic. I genuinely remember getting uh, set on fire. Boo. Well, we're injured now as well. Let's have a nice, refreshing hassle. Yeah, we might as well use the large ones. I don't want to cheese it too much. There we go. Much better. At least we cool down relatively quickly. I'm wondering where we burst into flames then, because I distinctively have that in my memory. Right, let's go. Alrighty. Now, hopefully we can have just straight up... Well, I was going to say straight up avoid the enemies, but it doesn't really matter, because if we're not actually going to... Uh, flame on. Actually, I think I remember. I think you burst into flames uh, if you completely run out of health. I think that's what it is. Well, I've wasted your time and mine. Well, technically, I skipped most of it out for you. So, because I'm nice. All right, what's through here? This is one of the. F oh no! This. Hang on. Where is this? Ah. Right, we're back into freezer A. Oh, that's fine. We actually went into the only other room that we couldn't. 
Ah, I just, I, you know, I remember more frozen rooms, to be honest. My memory, ah, you know what, we'll take this guy out, because he's big. And he worth money, buddy. Give me your coins. Give me a loot. I demand payment. Oh, wow. <clears throat> it's got to be said. This axe, this axe is pretty good. It's definitely better than I thought. Ooh. Yeah, we're starting to get pretty warm now. But that's okay. Alright, now these guys are pretty basic enemies. Ah, we're getting our ass kicked. That's fine. Oof, God. Can't see the enemies. Just keep swinging. Just keep chopping. Chop until there's nothing but mush left. Okay. Yeah, you can piss off as well. Little tentacle bastard. You're done? You're done. Right, and I think that's the end of the freezer. Ooh, nice. Now this bit. Oh, I actually remember this bit quite vividly. I don't like this bit. I really don't like this bit. Uh, the controls on this bit are so bad. They are so bad, guys. I usually die here due to the controls. Yeah, look how much a small, a large Hassie actually heals us. Heals us loads. I think a small Hassie will polish us off. Uh, items, food. It is unfortunate to have to have like a hundred of these healing items, but it's just the way it is. Want to unlock all the unlocks? That's what you gotta do. Now, how do we swim? That's it. Right, yes. Oh god, I can't remember how we swim. Right, B to swim. Now, if we... Right, so if we just let go of the buttons, Elliot does just surface again. Okay. Got ya. Now, oh, controls are so bad. Oh, they're so bad. Right, we do actually... Okay, so we auto-sync. Basically, is what's happening here. I think. Yeah. And I don't know. Oh, God. Right, let's get some air. Get some air, Elliot. Oh, the controls. I, you know, I never, I don't think, ever truly discovered how this swimming works in this game. I don't think I ever worked it out. Uh, all I know is I freaking hate it. I think, if memory serves, there is, there is like a secret little area a bit here, but uh, I can't actually remember. I'm sure there's like a little Brucey bonus, there's a sly little hatch somewhere that, oh my god, look, look, that's with me holding, holding down the left button to turn, he just won't do it. You know, it's funny, like, whenever anybody complains about the controls in Resident Evil, man, just, just play Blue Stinger, right, play Blue Stinger, and all of your, your, your praises will be shift, I can assure you. If you play Blue Stinger, you will praise the smooth, silky, godlike controls that Resident Evil has. I'm not joking. Uh, right, we're proper lost here. Eh. Uh, yeah, we're proper lost. Ah, wait, there's a ladder there, I think. I think it's a ladder. Kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Right, let's go back down. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, why this section's in the game, or to be honest why it's so awful. It had no business being as terrible as it is. Right, cool. 
But wait, now we have another enemy. We've got a giant mutated ball thing. And this thing is just odd. Oh god. Alright, get up, Elliot. Get up. Get up. Yeah, handgun does very little against this thing. You're trying to like, stay behind it. Which, again, you're going to get fucked over by the controls. Okay, the boss itself is fairly easy. But, yeah, look, we're being stunlocked as well. Yeah, the boss itself is quite easy, but um, the fact that the camera angle is constantly glitching out. Let's go with the shotgun. It's constantly glitching out, and uh, because the camera angle is kind of doing weird things, it makes the controls do weird things. So, yeah, I mean, look, I got stuck there. I can actually move. But you want to try and stay close to this guy. There we go. Ooh, run, Elliot. No. Nope. But he will stun lock you into a corner, which is really cheesy if you ask me. Right, let's see if we can... Now nah, we're going to have to change. Yeah, we're going to have to change. Elliot's too injured. And I don't trust... Oh, God. Did that actually do any damage? Yeah, it did. Oh, come on, dogs. Come on. I'd love to know if there's, like, a perfect way of doing this. Um... As you can see, even the AI, even the ball, is having a hard time navigating this arena. Okay, but it's cool. You know, you expect a certain level of jank with these old games. Uh-oh, that's fine. And it has to be said, Blue Stinger is one of the jankiest games ever made. Yeah, even the ball is, like... <laughs> struggling to actually get us. Which is kind of funny in a lot of ways. Ugh. That was intense. The monster was holding something. You got the meat room key. Excellent. Well, he is now meat. Wow, look at that thing. I, mean, I guess that was like a mutated bull. I guess. But why... And this whole room doesn't make a lot of sense either. Because we kind of came in through here. But if you looked above, there was a load of meat. But there's no meat here. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of strange. This game's strange, man. Alright, let's change back to Elliot anyway. And let's give the man something to drink. A couple of large hassies are sorting out. Now, what's curious as well is the larger you actually make your health uh, bar, the um, less damage, or should I say, the more damage you actually still have in your health bar um, before you start acting injured. So, like, for instance, when we had a really small health bar, there was, like, it was the last inch of health before he would start really limping. But now, uh, because our health bar is so large, it can actually get down to almost the size of the original health bar, and then we'll start limping. It's really annoying. And I totally butchered the way of explaining that, but I'm, I'm sure most of you will understand what I mean. Right, this is the meat room that I was thinking of, actually. So maybe I should shut up. Right, the non-frozen meat we can destroy. Which is quite useful. Because otherwise, we'd be balked. Because Elliot totally couldn't just walk under those uh, slabs of meat. What does that say on that, actually? Can we read it? No. No, we can't read it. Hmm. Massive pieces of hanging meat. Hmm. Yeah, we really kind of run quite low on shotgun ammo as well. But that's okay, because as you can plainly see... The shotgun's straight up not that brilliant, you know? Um, right, so now we've made it through the freezer, which is cool. 
because I don't mind the freezer. That's not a bad section, but that water section uh, that we've just been through is really shit, and I really don't enjoy it at all. Um, mainly due to the controls, to be honest. But anyway, guys, we have made it through. Uh, and we actually made it through, I think, fairly smoothly as well. I would be curious to go back and watch my original LP to see just how bad I had it against those two bosses because I could imagine I probably didn't fare too well <laughs> just because I know how I used to play and I think I didn't play this game too often um, back then either whereas you know I, a, a few weeks ago I did practice this game to get back into it Whereas I know last time, from what I can remember, I pretty much just threw the game in and started playing. And this game, you kind of need to get used to the jank. You really do. Anyway, guys, that's enough waffling from me. Thank you very much for watching, and as always...